handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Aintree Racecourse here on Tuesday. It is the 26th of December 2023. Gonna look the third race to 105 from Aintree, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the third race to 105 from Aintree. And before I go any further, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the first Boxing Day fixture at Aintree. And I quite like it. It's a good card today. Um, so, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I hope they keep this tradition going on. I think they're um, doing it again next year if I looked at the fixture list correctly. Or, or if I remember the fixture list. I haven't downloaded it to my uh, PC yet, but one of these days I will. But um, let's look at the third race to 105. Originally run at Sandown in early January. They moved it from Sandown now up north to, um, to Aintree. It is the Grade 1 William Hill Formby Novices Hurdle. It's a Grade 1 event for Class 1 horses going for a purse $96,000 race for novice three-year-olds and upwards we have field 10 horses going the distance of ground here of 3,300 meters or two miles and one sixteenth over the hurdle course um, formerly known as the Tollworth when it was run at uh, at uh, Aintree at um, at Sandown um, most uh, and um uh, you know, it's always been some, you know, exciting runs there earlier in the year. But um, my top selection here in the form B, I'm going to go with the number seven horse, uh, Kamen Sinas. Um, I'm going to go seven. Why can't my iPad load? I'm going to go seven, three, ten in the Tricath Trifecta. Seven, three, ten Tricath Trifecta. Top selection, the seven horse here who is Caminina, Camininas, I can't speak. The sick girl going by Cam's in here. Fergal O'Brien trains. Patty Brennan gets the mount. The horse is most recent out and came a month ago at Haydock. Two miles in the gray two bet fair racing Podco's Newton novices hurdle. And the horse went by one quarter lengths that day and basically on a stroll. He jumped well. He got over the obstacles well. And he, he was handling it the best that day. Nothing bad about that race. Refreshing here. Next logical step. A little given the ground, which I think he should handle. I expect him to really improve and get the trip to win. He ran at Cheltenham on the 27th of October, two miles in the grade two sky bet novices hurdle, and he finished second by two and three quarter lengths that day. And he had a you know a couple mistakes that day. He was gaining that day, but he might need the race for experience. But I've seen worse races for um, you know his kind of horses. Um, and then at Worcester in early October, two miles in no- a national hunt novice hurdle, he uh, won by eight and a half lengths and at 83 cents a dollar. He was fresh. He took off clear. He destroyed the horses. Not a bad run after all said and done. He's done everything right so far. He's coming to grade one quality horses. I expect him to run a good race. I'll use him. I think the three-horse favor and fortune for... um for Alan King can get a trip here. 5-1. to one. Most recently at Weatherby in mid-November over the two miles and very demanding round in Class 2 Handicap Hurdle. He, he won by three lengths that day and at 40 cents a dollar a few horses weren't handling the going that day. But again, he settled well. He jumped well and took off clear. Not really getting extended that day. Prior to that in a National Hunt Novices Hurdle Harryford, two miles in mid-October he won by a Baker's dozen 13 lengths at 53 cents a dollar. He was under the drive excelling. Not a bad race. His only defeat actually came in the championship champion bumper at Cheltenham during the festival last year over the two miles he finished 14th by 20 lengths and he just wasn't staying with those slightly better horses on the day but since then he's become a better horse uh, you know they haven't really gotten to the bottom of him yet so today's going to be his biggest test but at five to one I'll give him a shot here in the beginning of the quad pod so to recap my selection for third the 105 from Aintree it's the grade one foreign beat novices hurdle gonna take the seven horse Camasinas. Cam- Cam- Pardon me. Uh, give kudos to the three horse favor and fortune. Um, seven three ten tri cast trifecta seven three in the multi race. Um, so the next time we'll be actually, if I'm not mistaken, the next time we'll be racing at Aintree will be in April for the Grand National meeting. So I can't wait for that. With the F being said, please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit Five for more selections for race courses around the world. Good luck, everybody.